Okay guys, here is my outfit of today for work. White jeans and a black turtleneck. And this bag is from Aldo. Wants to do something simple with the side part. So yeah. So guys, I did a sporty look today. Don't mind my room, but yeah, it's sporty. Okay, so I filmed a video earlier today and then I took a nap and I slept with my makeup on and I have to go get more makeup wipes like I feel so empty when I don't have makeup wipes I feel like it's the solution to getting the makeup off so quickly because I hate scrubbing with a washcloth and soap it just irritates me but my birthday is next Thursday so I'm going to start on this vlog early I don't know if I'm going to release a vlog next week depending on how my week is because my schedule is about to be crazy with work. Um, this gig is, my mom hates when I say gig for some reason. Why she's, she's like, why you don't say position? But it's really a gig. Like that's a film term. So this is over December 9th. So I'm going to enjoy this blessing as much as I can. So. I don't really drink coffee as much anymore like it just every time I've had it lately it makes me so jittery because I don't drink it consistently enough any anymore I feel like with coffee you gotta like take baby steps and when you start drinking it every day then you'll get used to it and then you can do like three cups of coffee a day but me I've been like sticking to teas so I get a Moroccan minty latte from coffee bean and it's like my go-to drink it's amazing so i've been drinking it a lot lately um what was i going to say so i'm going to san diego for my birthday i was supposed to go to san francisco this weekend but things did not go as planned i'm back to having car issues my service engine soon like came on and that is like the worst thing ever so my mechanic thought it was something else but he looked again today and it's actually something else and so he has to fix it next sat well this upcoming Saturday because I work all week and there's no way like it could get fixed. So I have to wait until Saturday. So I'm not gonna be driving as much this week. I'm just gonna be going back and forth to work because I just do not wanna risk anything happening. I'm thinking about getting a new car, so if y'all have recommendations um on really great cars i really want to get one this upcoming year i will get one and so i'm just trying to figure out which one i want i really like the fiat's because it's super affordable it's cute and i feel like it would be good on gas but i want to get more opinions on it because one of my friends had one and she didn't like it so i'm just trying to figure out what car i want to get my subscribers have been going up, so that's a good thing. I'm trying to stay consistent with my channel with working, so I'm tr I'm like trying to just shoot videos on weekends and just release vlogs, so I have consistent content. And what else? Um, I'm so ready for 22 to be over with. Like it was just such a, it, it was just a stressful year and just like a growing year, and I'm just ready for it to be over. With. Okay guys, here's the outfit of today for work. So yeah, just very floral. It's 90 degrees out today, so this is why I'm wearing this. All right guys, so I just got home. I, let me tell y'all, I had to freaking get my car fixed. I had another mechanic. I've been using him for like all summer and he like totally just bailed on me today. So, well yesterday and he didn't answer the phone all day today. So I hope there's nothing wrong with him, but I would never use him again. I found another mechanic and they're good and I am i don't care about spending the money as long as it's done correctly. So yeah. So I got this Paul, Paul Matte. It's like a makeup brush. They just sent it to me in the mail from Samantha. And this is the company. I'll put it below. So I don't want to say it wrong and so it's like a makeup cleaner so I'm gonna try it out um it's so time for me to clean my brushes and so then I also got this NYX beauty set it's all lipsticks and I went to the mall yesterday and I was like 
should I do it? Should I not do it? And then I was like, let me sleep on it. And so I slept on it last night and decided to go get it today. So it has all the lipsticks and I feel like it's worth it because I love the um, liquid suede set. So, so excited. And then, I mean, this is a great deal for 50 bucks. Like, all I'm saying is, so then it's that season again, vanilla bean. If you know me, I've been wearing vanilla bean forever now. So they had lotions, all lotions for $3. So I stocked up on this. And got the vanilla bean candles. And the small sprays. I'm gonna go back and get the big sprays. I got a lot. I've been wearing vanilla beans since junior year of high school. Shout out to Greta for putting me on. And so I'm just gonna clean today. I have bought another NYX lipstick. Um, it's actually a part of that. But yeah, I should have returned it. But it is what it is. <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna do some cleaning because I feel like a mess and I need to do my hair. So yeah. So I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I learned so much within 22. 22 was probably the most challenging years for me emotionally and internally because I just really hit adulthood very quickly and um, it just hit me real hard. Like 22 was like, some amazing things happened. Like I put out my book. I worked for BH1. I worked for E twice. Um, a lot of great blessings came, but a lot of challenges that humbled me. Um, I was out of a job for like four to five months, which is like the longest I've ever in my entire life of working been out of a job. Like I was so used to being busy and just doing things and being productive 24 seven. And although I was out of work, I still was very extremely productive, like working out every day, recording YouTube videos every day, blogging. I mean, that's the job itself, but like actually going in and clocking into a job I didn't have for like four or five months. So it kind of left me emotionally drained because financially it's like, how do you pay for everything? How do you still, you know, get the necessities that you need and the things that you want? So it was definitely challenging for me. I'm also in LA by myself. I've been here for five and a half years now. I'm 17, at 17 and now I'm about to be 23. And I honestly just got, I felt so alone here and you know i felt so emotionally drained this year like you know i was dating someone for like eight months of this year and it just went super badly and you know i just feel like this year was just one of those growing years for me that i really enter into adulthood and it hit me so you know sorry if i'm not like my eyes are all over the place but I definitely learned a lot with the 22 and 23 is going to be a great year. I feel like this year is going to be amazing. Um, what else? I don't know. I just learned so much about myself. I have like leftover makeup and stuff. So yeah, I just learned so much this year. It was definitely a growing year for me and you know, I feel like 23 is going to be a great year. If you guys have any advice on when you turn 23, please comment below. So yeah, I'm going to vlog all this week. Me and my friends are going to San Diego for my birthday. And I'm super, super excited. So I'm going to take y'all along the trip with us. And I'm going to record everything. I'm going to try to get everything I possibly can. So yeah, stay tuned.